This is Shane with That's It Guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Halo Online, the latest version. So, as you can see, the game is currently running. Um, they have changed the interface for this. It's still not perfect, uh, especially compared to something on like the Xbox or like even like a Halo 5 Forge, uh, which is free on the Microsoft Store right now. But I'm going to show you how to get this all set up, so let's get this started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to download Halo Online. So to do this, you should go to the Halo Online subreddit. Um, you can find this by going to Google or just following the link that's in the description below. And then the top link up here, or their pinned link, um, is going to be the download for their major update. So they have a couple of options uh, to download this. These may change. Um, hopefully we'll add like a torrent or something to make it a little bit easier. Because right now the Google Drive is shut down. Uh, so when you try to download it, it's going to give you this error message. So I used Mega. Um, Mega seemed to work pretty well. Uh, you could download it. It's 1.83 gigabytes, so it's not too big. Uh, so that's just going to be dependent on your internet. That'll just download for you. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to install the thing. So let's uh, show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, what you're going to do is go to the folder where you actually have the uh, files downloaded, and you're going to get the file ldurito underscore 0.6.exe, and what you're going to want to do is run that. It's a 7-zip, it's a compressed folder, and then it's going to extract the files to games slash Halo Online. So you hit extract, and it's going to go ahead and run through that process. That will give me an error message right now because I already have everything. Uh, that will take a little while, and once you're finished, you should get all of these files here, minus the uh, ldorito.exe, uh, that'll just be wherever you have that. So, this is the file that you're going to be looking for, ldorito, or eldorado, in this case, .exe. And what I'm going to show you is to just make a shortcut for your desktop. So, you want to click the file, right-click, send to desktop to create a shortcut. And then when you get it on the desktop, you could just rename it to Halo Online or whatever you want. So that's for the basics for getting the game installed. Um, as a quick bonus, I'm just going to show you how to add it to Steam, uh, which I have not done yet, but I will go ahead and do for you guys. So what you want to do is open up Steam and press Games and add a non-Steam game to my library. So click on that and click Browse. And that same folder where you put um, El Dorado or El Dorito, um, you got to go find that folder. So in my case, it's, it's in the Halo Online folder. And then you want to go ahead and select that program and hit Open. And there you go. So add selected programs. So now it's not going to be at my favorites, so... Now, you could also, when you search EL for El Dorado, you can right-click and hit Properties, and then we'll just rename this to Halo Online. And it already has the Halo icon, so we're just going to hit Close. It's now renamed to Halo. So we're going to type in Halo, and then I'm going to right-click and hit uh, Add to Favorites, so it shows up at the top. So now on my Favorites list, here's Halo Online. This has full controller support, so if you happen to have the Valve Link or the Steam Link, um, where you can, you know, remotely play this in another room. You can actually launch this game from there, and it will work. So, I'm going to hit play, and the game should work now. So, I'm going to show you a couple of tweaks inside of the program, uh, now that you actually have it installed. So, you'll notice this is going to take a little while to load, so I'll pop back in when this is finished. Okay, it looks like I just had a minor issue for getting it to launch, but it looks like it's okay. So... Um, I'm going to show you how to get some of the settings on here. So you'll notice that, like I said, the interface is a little bit off. Um, you have to navigate with the arrow keys. The mouse does not work on this particular screen. And you can't select settings, right? So what do you have to do? You have to press the home key on the keyboard. You know, page up, page down, home, and insert, delete. So press home. And these are some of the settings that you can change. You know, of course, the regular game controls. Um, the actual controls, whether you want to use a keyboard or a gamepad, are right here. Um, 
I would, would suggest one thing. If you're going to be playing with a mouse and keyboard, set your sensitivity up because I have it at 60 right now and it seems to be pretty decent. It stocks at like 25. That's not enough. So, um, everything in here is okay. I, I just adjusted all these up to about 60. Um, but if you go under video, you may have some video issues. So I would go through some of these settings. Um, first off, by default, they have borderless full screen, which means you can, if you have multiple monitors, uh, go between your screens. And by default, it should actually pick the graphics quality for you. But if you're having issues with your frame rate, I'm getting 60, so that's fine. But if you're not getting 60, say you don't have a, a newer video card, you can go in here and you can change your video settings individually, or you could just pick a preset. You know, start low and work your way up. Um, let's see. The sound is all basically the same. Uh, I will say I dropped the... I should do it this way. I'm gonna drop my master volume down to 60%. Um, that should be good, and then you make sure you just hit apply. Now, the last thing, um, that's basically the, the, the gist there. To play the actual game, you would just go in a server browser, wait for it to load. It's going to take a long time because, you know, this is not uh, not perfect. Um, they're working on a uh, an external server browser, and there's no matchmaking either, so you're, you're kind of uh, limited on how you do that. But there, here you go, here's a server list right now. You can sort by ping, but you see it just clicked out of there. All right, so I wanted to go over some of the new things that they've added to Halo Online. First thing is Forge. So Forge is obviously awesome. Uh, you can go in and mess around with your friends online and change things in the map, spawn things in, basically create your own map. So that is awesome, a uh, new thing. And the other new feature that they've added is inviting your friends. Um, how you do that so you know the older versions you just go into the server browser and you'd have to find uh you know find the same match you know that you were hosting in the new halo online you press the home key on the keyboard and you'll notice in here discord rich presence by default is turned on well when you are the server host um and you have this screen up within discord i will show you real quick even though it's not working at the moment uh, with the host lobby, everything running, uh, when you're in online mode, of course. Uh, the plus sign right here on Discord will allow you to send an invite. Now, right now, it's just bringing up the file uh, the file thing. But uh, when you're actually online, uh, when this thing is working, you can hit that plus sign, and it'll have Halo. And you can click that, and it'll send an invite on your Discord. Um, alternative, of course, is a direct message as well. So since that's not working, unfortunately, I can't show you what that looks like. But if you've received a Discord invite where it has join, um, it will show up just like that in your lobby. The only thing you have to do is basically uh, Discord detects whether the game is installed. And the fact that the game is installed, it'll allow you to hit uh, join. And if you need to, um, one thing I will tell you real quick is if you needed to refresh that invite. In other words, um, if you're on that screen and you accidentally close the game out. All you have to do is switch channels and go back into the, that lobby, and that uh, join option will be there. So, uh, unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't show you what that looks like, but it's Discord. If you're if you've used Discord, it works, you know, really well. Uh, so that pretty much covers everything that I can think of uh, within Halo Online. Um, the only other thing you could do is go into the customization, and all of this stuff is pretty straightforward. You know, you could change your name, your service tag. Um, change your armor, your colors, your emblem, which is pretty important. Your emblem is like your icon, uh, which is what will show up in the multiplayer screen. So you can pick whatever you want. This is what it is by default for me. So that pretty much covers everything that I can think of on here. So if you guys have any questions, um, you know, leave a comment below. I will have an article linked in the description uh, with any kind of updates and stuff that goes along with this. And I will have all the download links and everything in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and go have fun playing Halo. Gain the lead. Gain the